Hi everyone, welcome to this new video where I will explain how you can send data to Matomo Analytics thanks uh, to uh, Google Tag Manager. Uh, it's going to be a long uh, video and that is kind of experimental for me. Probably it may not go as expected. So yeah, uh, expect actually to have probably some blank uh, within this uh, within this video, uh, but I will really try to do my best and to make it as uh, valuable as as possible. So uh, yes, uh, first of all, uh, what I would like to achieve within this video is the following is I would like to show how you can create uh, your own Android app, how you can install on it uh, Google Tag Manager through uh, Firebase and how you can push this information out uh, to Matomo. So just for information, why am I doing it with Google Tag Manager? Just because at the moment there is no, uh, let's say, open source tag manager, at least uh, as far as I know, for uh, mobile specifically. Okay, you have it for website, but you don't have it. You don't have it for um, for mobile app. Okay, so uh, let's get started. First of all, I would like to thank uh, two person, actually, uh, the one who took the time in uh, writing this uh, given article on blastam.com because the person who wrote, uh, who is May, I'll wait, probably I'm not, uh, pronouncing it right, but definitely uh, this person solved the main issue that I had in understanding uh, how to integrate Google Tag Manager within the mobile app. So huge thanks to this person. And as well, I would like to thank uh, Julian Juneman because thanks to his video, I understood how to integrate Firebase uh, specifically within a mobile app. So, okay, uh, let's get started. In order to start, uh, you need to have um, a software in, uh, on which you can actually create a mobile app. So in my case, I'm using Android Studio. Okay, so uh, let's create this app together with you. So uh, once Android Studio is installed and once uh, you made all the updates that it requires and including as well the support of the emulator or of a device, as you can see uh, down below, I have actually uh, a device I would like to show you. Uh, then you click on new project and you give the name of your uh, of your project, right? So I'm just gonna create one, and this project is gonna be named. Uh, so we're just gonna give it the, the name of let's say uh, of today's uh, today's date, right? So I don't know if it's a good uh, good practice, but in any cases, it's just uh, yeah, it's just between uh, you and I. So let's go. Uh, let's go for this given app, right, which is called 25th of February 2019. So uh, Android Studio is now creating uh, creating this app, and uh, it should be done within a couple of uh, within a couple of minutes. So once it will be uh, created, what I will do is that I will try to integrate a tag manager, Google Tag Manager, within it. And uh, when you look for information about it on the internet, normally you land on this page, which is explaining to you that uh, in the past there is like two methods. One, uh, in order to uh, automatic, I mean, to insert it within your mobile app, and then they developed another method, which is uh, through uh, the Firebase SDK. So it seems that actually that's uh, the method that now Google uh, is using in order to integrate Google Tag Manager. So I'm following actually this. Uh, given method. However, I'm not really, uh, let's say, following this given tutorial. I really prefer the one which have been written here, uh, just because I found them simpler and the, the one of uh, the, the one of Google. Uh, so the first step that you need to go through is to create uh, your project within uh, Firebase. So you need to create a new project which the, within the Firebase console. So of course, here uh, you need to have um, you need to have um, a Google account, so I'm just going to create it uh, right now. You need to give the name to your project, uh, whatever it is. So in my case, it will be, I'm just going to keep the same name as the one that I had just in order to remember it. Uh, location, um, okay, so here, of course, I could do something which is more intelligent, but I'm just going to let uh, the default uh, parameter, I could, of course, uh, leave out this uh, checkbox, but just for simplicity, I'm just keeping them. Uh, just to let you know that there is, uh, it seems that there is some alternatives to Firebase, 
uh, in the open source uh, community, but uh, I have not yet uh, tested them. Okay, but that's my wish to do it in the future. So okay, so now I created my uh, my project. That's going to be an Android project. So that's why I'm I'm ticking this box up here. I need to give the name of my package name. Okay, and the package name is actually the one which was given at the creation of of my Android project. So I'm just going to go over here. And normally, this information is located within a file, which is called the Android manifest. So I go over here. And normally, I should get something which is, uh, OK, package. You see, manifest, blah, blah, blah. And that's the name of my package. So I can basically just copy it. And then I go, I go within. Uh, the Firebase, and I just give the name that I want, okay? Uh, so I can give it a nickname. I'm just going to say nickname. Uh, yeah, that's going to be exactly the same. Um, and here it's optional, so I'm not doing it because I really want to make it as simple as possible. So I click on register the app. Uh, and then uh, what it requires you to do is it requires you to uh, download the config file and to import it uh, within your mobile app so that's what i'm going to do um, so from my understanding what this uh, file is doing is like it's kind of um, showing that you are uh, the owner of the mobile app that you claim you are in regards to the firebase uh, service right it's a bit like uh, if you are familiar with the google search console of google it's like adding to me i mean from what i understood like adding the tag showing that actually yes you are the owner of this uh, given property uh, so personally i hate actually this uh, given process here which consists of sending this file to and the following location within the app because it's always kind of a mess or at least for me uh, to do it so i'm just gonna uh, do it like this so you open your terminal and uh, you need to go to the location where uh, you stored actually uh, the given um, the given file, so the Google uh, Services JSON. Then you need to move it, so that's why you do like a move, and then you go for Google Services, and then you need to find actually back uh, the path to the location where you have all your files. So go for this. You go for in my case that Android. I think it's Android Studio Project. Then the name of my project, which is we say twenty fifth. Okay, that's great. Uh, and then I need to go a little bit more. I think it's app. Where does it need to put it? So yes, it's app. So I just type in app. Oh, okay, that works good. And um, as I said, to see your project root directory. So normally, if I press enter, wow, that should be fine. So normally, what it did is that it moved the file Google Services to the location where I expected it to go, which is. Da, da, da. Uh, so we go over here, and then uh, you don't see it. So uh, here you feel frustrated, and that's probably because you need to change the way uh, the files are shown. And uh, OK, so normally it should be listed over here. And you can see Google Services JSON. So if, uh, but in my case, I put it within app, and it's not what they say, right? So it's a project uh, within app. App module root director. OK, so we are happy, right? It works. Uh, then what you need to do is the next step, add Firebase SDK. So the Google Services plugin for Gradle, load, la, la, la. OK, so this is what it did. Uh, and now you need to go to the project level bridge Gradle and then to include actually this given line of code within the project bridge Gradle within the dependencies part so uh, we just go over here so yeah i always messed up it's project build gather okay so um i go over here project build gather okay so here you have the project right because it's name project uh here it's asking for the dependencies so you just copy and paste it here right so normally this part should be fine uh, I could synchronize already my uh, my file, so let's go for it. Synchronize. Um, so let's see if I got some mistake or whatever. Okay, it seems fine. Great. That's the first victory of the day. Okay, so uh, now it's gonna ask me actually not within the project but within the app module 
you need to add two things, uh, the implementation of Firebase and you need, so this one was, was for Google services. This one is for Firebase and this one is the plug. So I'm going to do the plugin part because this one, last time I, I had a bit of time. Uh, it was a bit tricky because I didn't put it at the right position. When they say at the bottom, it means uh, not within the bracket. Okay, so put it like this. Um, I'm not going to validate it yet. I'm just going to go uh, over here and add the other one, which is the implementation. And this one needs to be as well within the dependencies part. So we go uh, within the dependencies here. From what I understood, actually, the line where you put it has no uh, consequences. So let's synchronize now. I mean, I could have put it uh, here or here or here. It seems it's fine. Uh, so now it's doing the work, right? So it's like building the full things and it seems that it works. So it's Okay, it's cool. Uh, finally, press the synchronize now. So that's great. This is what I did. So I click on next. Then uh, run your app to verify the installation, checking if the app has communicated with your server, you may need to uninstall and reinstall the app. So what it means here is that you need actually to uh, connect your either your device or either your emulator uh, to um, to the app. So what I could do is actually, yes, I could already start uh, to connect my, yes, to connect my device to it. So what I will do is I will just, just put my cable over here. Oops. Um, so I'm not, I'm not showing you this part, but what is happening according to the device that you have, they are going to ask you for an authorization. So in my case, I just give uh, the authorization. And now, as you can see, we have uh, a pop-up coming in. Okay, that's great. So now I guess I can I can put it, I can put it back. Okay, put it back there. Okay. Uh, and now what I need to do is that I need to uh, run the app. So I'm going to click on... Um, and the play button over here in order to launch uh, the app. So it recognized that actually I have my device, which is on. So now I can click on OK. Um, and then it's going to, if I'm lucky enough, it's going to start to create it. So run the selected configuration. OK, right. So now it's building the full project and probably importing it within my mobile that you can see within this video. So it's taking some time and that's normal because Android Studio requires a lot of uh, resources from your computer and as well because I'm running OBS um, as well on the on this part. I need to, um, to deactivate it uh, for the next. Okay. And by the way, uh, I could Okay, great. So it's still running. And now installing the APK means that actually the program is currently downloaded on, on my mobile. And great. So now, uh, as you can see, the app is running. And it seems, if I'm lucky enough, that actually, um, if I refresh this page, probably it will confirm that actually Firebase is installed. Oops. Oh. So all of this has been done properly and this part has been done properly. Okay, so now it's telling me, okay, it's fine, you did it. Okay, uh, so when now Firebase is installed, add your app, add Firebase Analytics to your app. So this is this part now that I need to go through. Um, 
So create a new project and add your add detail. You will need, okay, create a new GTM container based on your eight operating system showing uh, the SDK version. So uh, what I will do now is I'm going to create, uh, let's say, a brand new uh, container within, uh, within Matomo. Uh, within uh, Google Tag Manager. So here yeah, I just put as well uh, the date of today. I'm just going to put zero, zero something because I like to have it at the top of my yep, uh, of my screen and country, country, let's go for France. And uh, so I'm just going to container, okay, container. Okay, and I go for Android. And I go down the page uh, here, choose Firebase Android legacy. Uh, Android is the deprecated method. So, and now I'm creating it. So it's in French and, and so go for it. Okay. So now I get my, um, get started apps. Okay. You don't need those information. We see that's exactly the same as the one that we have already. Okay. Uh, so now you publish and export the GTM container, and here is the key thing actually. Uh, it doesn't have to be filled with uh, filled in with tags. So here, all they need to do is all, uh, all they ask you to do is just to publish uh, the container. Okay, it can be empty; it's not a problem. And uh, once uh, you have done this, uh, you just need to click here on downloads. And it's going to download uh, your container. Okay, that's that's the thing that you need to do. And then you need uh, to add Firebase and Google to your app. Follow the instruction, the developer doc uh, over here. So uh, let's see what it said. Okay, always the same thing. Okay, um, so I created the Google Tag Manager account. Now, now I need to configure, uh, to configure it. So in order to add a uh, Google Tag Manager to your project, what you need to do is that you need to add it as well as a dependency, right? So you need to go within dependency and it will be within the app file. So we go within the app file uh, and we said dependency. So it's an implementation as well. And we just paste it here. Okay. Here you're gonna see that it's already frustrating because if I do it like this, whoops, compile, compile. Um, okay, so uh, sorry for that. I had to cut the video because I could not see my mistake, which actually was in front of my eyes. As you can see, I open a dependency within a dependency. So normally that should not happen. And then uh, you can decide to end it up here with this or not. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so then uh, you need to click here on try again. And what's going to happen over here is they say, hey, maybe you didn't need that. And probably you didn't need that as well. Uh, so let's uh let's synchronize it again and in fact i did the mistake twice i don't know why but uh okay so try again okay so it seems uh it seems okay so i apply actually this following uh, line so services tag manager so it's good and then i can i can move on to the next step which was um to import what i added right so um you saw that i was exporting a container at some point now i need to include it and in order to include it, I need to go and to move actually my file to app src main assets container. So let's uh, go for it. That's going to be the same thing as I did before. So it's just going to be like uh, MV. So it's going to be the GTM something. Okay, GTM something. And I'm going to move it to my own directory, the identifier, and then it's my Android Studio project, and it's the name of my app, which was 25th. Then it goes within the app, then goes within the SRC, then goes within the main, and goes within the assets. Ah, okay. Uh, so 
it goes there, but I have not yet created the assets, neither the container uh, folder. So I need to create them out. So in order to do so, what I will do is, because I'm lazy, I'm going to do it this way. And it's going to be like a CD home. Okay, so I'm going to go there. And within the main, I'm going to create like a MK directory. It's going to be assets. Okay, and within it, within assets, I'm going to create one which is MKD, which is container. Containers. Okay, so it's great. So assets. Uh, so I'm just going to take it back. So it's MV. GTM and I need to move it to assets assets and containers. Okay, all good. So now normally I have it my container which is which is over here, right? So within assets I have my container so I'm happy and this one is part of it's part of the um, app, so main, if I look like this. So, main, assets, container, and I have it here. Okay, so this step is now validated. Um, so now, now it's good. Uh, log events and variables. Google use Firebase events, parameters, and so on and so forth. Um, I don't even think that actually I need I need all those things. Um, and I think I can uh, I can start. Uh, however, what I missed in my uh, tutorial here is to add Firebase analytics to my app. I'm not sure if they were mentioning it here. Uh, maybe not. Okay, um, so I'm wondering if I need to add it. If I want to add it, um, I will need to add actually uh, those two lines of code. But I'm wondering if actually uh, it won't work or not if um, I have my, um, let's say, um, Google Tag Manager already installed in. So I'm just going to do like, I'm just going to perform a test right now in order to see if it works or not uh, without implementing uh, Firebase. And in order to do so, I'm just going to go uh, over here again and I'm going uh, to gonna change my uh, activity. I'm just going to add a button to my app. So I'm just going to add one button over here uh, because it's easier for me to send events based on a click on the on this given button. And uh, I'm going to uh, create my app. So let's do it now. OK, in any case, I'm going to have a button within my app. And now what I need to do is within uh, Google Tag Manager, I need to send, of course, information to my Matum Analytics because that's the purpose of, of this tutorial. Uh, so I go within Google Tag Manager and I click here under Workspace and I'm going to create my first tag. It's not going to be the, the best tag of our life uh, because that's going to be a pixel, just a basic pixel. Okay, uh, so add a new tag. Okay, great. And normally, uh, so it's going to be like Matomo. Matomo. And we'll go over here. So it's going to be uh, a custom image. I need to copy and paste the image that I would like to, to push out. Um, so I'm just going to go uh, here with the image tracking. Um, I'm going to, let's say, just uh, copy and paste uh, this part. So I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to look at the source code. So it's like this. OK, so this is the pixel. Uh, for the one who do not know Matomo, 
Um, at Tomo Pixel, it works exactly the same way as the measurement plan of uh, Google Analytics. And uh, all I need now is probably just to go through the tracking API documentation. Okay, um, this is a JavaScript API tracking client API method. Okay. And what I will do is I will just add one parameters in order to HTTP tracking API. Where is it? Um, tracking HTTP. I'm just going to open one single parameter, which is the action name. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to say action name equal, equal something. Equal something, and then we just take this part out and we put it. Uh, we put it in tag manager. Oops. So let's go over here, and it's done. Uh, when does it trigger? It's going to trigger every time that someone's going to perform an event, whatever it is. Okay. So let's let's go this way. Let's save and let's let's publish it. Okay. Submit. Publish, continue. Okay, so uh, normally it's, it has been published, and if I look at my uh, Android project, everything has been um, has been pushed. So now, if I look at my app, which oops. okay, my app is over here. So now, if I'm interacting with it, as you can see. Uh, it's sending some some push to the system. Uh, what I need to check now is does those push push of uh, send data to uh, to my Matomo? Maybe yes, maybe no. It really depends. In fact, if uh, the Firebase Analytics needs to be implemented on the page in order to send the information uh, to the system, so in order to check that out, we just need to uh, go um, over here. And uh, let's see if I got some I got some push made or if I really needed to have uh, Matomo installed. So let's go over here. Okay, uh, February the twenty fourth. So it was yesterday. Um, so actually, I'm just gonna refresh again the page and probably push it many times in order to, because sometimes you can have like a small delay and see if that's the issue okay so no push have been sent which probably means that actually i need to install uh, firebase as well so firebase have been implemented i think uh, within the bridge gradle a file at the app level. So I'm going to check that out. App level. Um, Firebase, Firebase core. Okay. So now I need actually to include this given line of code within. Uh, my main activity, so my first screen. Um, in order to do so, I always like to double check where do they insert it. So private, I think they, they include it within the public class, yes. Okay, so you go. Uh, you go over here and you go uh, over here, main activity. Um, and you copy and paste here, it should be fine. So uh, here they're asking you actually to press Alt and Return key in order to, let's say, import the given function. And then last but not least, we need as well to include uh, the initialize part. So this part has to be put within the onCreate method. So here we're going to do it like this. 
So we have the onCreate method, which is over here, and you just need to copy and paste these parts up here. So now it should be fine. So we're going to, uh, let's say, rebuild our app. So again, it's going to take uh, it's going to take some time. Installing the APK again. Okay, so now we have it. And if I look at the log cat, if I pushing again, okay, as you can see, the data are sent, and there's a send to my Matomo as well. Um, let's uh, check it over here. Okay, so okay, so it's in that the data is not sent uh, yet. So let's double check if I've done everything which was uh, which was asked. So add Firebase and Google to your to your app. Okay, tracking code. Use the Firebase parameters. Okay, seems okay over here. Install Firebase. Add Firebase to your app. Create a Google Tag Manager. Configure. Um, okay, so. Oh, but did I publish? Uh, I think I did. I think I published it. So let's publish it again. Um, one interesting thing about uh, it is that you can uh, do a preview mode. So I'm going to do like a preview mode. I'm going to, uh, so here they ask you actually um, the application ID. So it's the package name. So if uh, you go over here within the manifest, Android manifest, that you pick up uh, this parts out and that you go back um, over here and that you generate. So don't do that with the emulator, only with uh, the, let's say, the, um, your mobile device, then you need to scan it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just scan it. Um, so you don't see it on the screen, but I will, I will scan it. Okay, this is how it looks like. So after you click on the link, okay, so here I have everything up so I can test and click as much as I want. When I click information, I'll then send again to Matomo, static, blah, 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 it's saying some things. And then I can, again, I can just uh, refresh these parts out to see if OK, great. Uh, so it works. Um, as you can see, I have no idea if it's because I'm within the preview mode or if there was a delay or something, but just to show you, okay, it works out. So uh, now we are happy. And in order to go further, because that's basically what this video is about, uh, well, let's say that you can do a lot of things now because uh, you succeed in implementing, let's say, of course, it's just a basic tag, but you can now take advantage of all the strengths of, of uh, let's say, of Google Tag Manager 
because uh, you can basically now start to use the variables of the type manager by going over here, for example, and by pushing, let's say, the event name or the up version of the code or whatever. I mean, here it's basically the measurement protocol of uh, Google Analytics, let's say, from Matomo, almost the same thing. So you can push like this all the information that you have within the variable if it's something that you are interested in. Then, of course, you can already start to play with the implementation of different triggers. So you will see that they are less numerous than the one of the website. But just with the events, you can already uh, collect a lot of uh, a lot of information and you can already start, uh, start to play with. Uh, so I'm going to save it just to give you a tiny example of how it will look like. So I'm just going to publish it again and continue. OK, uh, that's great. So now if I interact with my app, such as pushing, for example, uh, pushing the button or even, um, I don't know, clicking here and there and going backward, for example, or going backward, normally I should see actually all those information uh, coming up within my uh, Matomo Analytics backend. Okay, so probably it's taking a bit of time, but you just have one example below where the variable is uh, sent when you get the uh, GTM load, the screen view, uh, the user engagement, um, and, and many, many other events like this that you can uh, automatically push thanks uh, to uh, Google Tag Manager uh, with the variables. So I'm just going to uh, refresh this page up, hoping that actually the new interaction came in. OK, well, anyway, it's going to take a bit of time, probably like before, just to push the information. But it was just to, to show you how it works, the integration with, uh, with Google Tag Manager within an Android uh, mobile app. Hope you enjoy it and hope uh, you will uh, start actually to, to have fun with it. Have a great day.